Hello everyone. In this lesson, I will teach you how to use the tools under Symbol tool in Adobe Illustrator. The Symbol tool has a set of tools which can be used to spray symbols on the artboard or manipulate symbols. The Symbol panel can be accessed from Windows menu. The Symbol tool can be accessed from the toolbar. The Symbol sprayer tool lets you quickly add multiple instances of a symbol to your artwork. I'm going to select this tool and a symbol from the symbol panel. After this, I'm going to paint on my artboard using this tool like this. Another tool is a symbol shifter tool. Once you spray some symbols, you can treat them as a group with the shifter and nudge them around and shift their positions slightly in this way. The Adobe Illustrator Symbol Scruncher tool allows you to tighten up the symbol within the group. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, this will have the opposite reaction. It will essentially loosen the group and push the instances further apart. The Symbol Sizer tool will increase the size of your symbol instances within your symbol sprayer group. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, it will have the opposite action and reduce the size of your symbol instances. With the Symbol Spinner tool, you can rotate the symbols by clicking and dragging over the symbols. With the Symbol Stainer tool, firstly, we have to select a color from the control panel and then later apply it on the existing symbols on the artboard. This tool creates random color varieties in symbol sets. To change the transparency of symbol instances, select the Symbol Screener tool, then click or drag across the symbols. You can switch to Symbol Styler tool when using any other symbolism tool by clicking a style in the Graphic Style panel. I will keep the Graphic Style panel open and select the Symbol Styler tool. I will select a graphic style and paint over my artwork. This will replace the existing symbol on the artboard with the new graphic style I applied over it. Let me now show you how to add a symbol made by you to the Symbols panel. I am going to take the brush tool and scribble a floral design on my artboard. Once I am done, I will drag and select all the elements in my symbol with black arrow tool. I will right click and group them. Now I will select my symbol, drag and place it inside the symbols panel. Now. I will use the symbol sprayer tool to scatter this symbol on my artboard like this. In this demo, I will show you how to apply the puppet warp tool to twist this rectangular shape and cause some distortion in its fill and outline. When you apply the tool on the object, it will create a mesh like this with pins. You can add, move and rotate these pins to seamlessly transform your artwork into different variations using the Puppet Warp tool. When it comes to your fashion illustrations, 
you can change the posture of the croquis and the flow of the fabric texture very easily with this tool. With the free transform tool, you can skew or distort the shape outline. It gives your design elements a different perspective as well.